And another example of a word problem in algebra. And again, we're dealing with something involving ratios. And the example is, find the number such that one half of the number is three less than two thirds of the number. So it seems like we're dealing with a single number here. So if that's the case, let x equal the unknown number. There's only one. So now we need a relationship, some sort of constraint with what's given, so we can set up an equation and help us solve the problem. So let's read it carefully and try to assemble this equation. It says, find the number such that one half of the number, okay, so one half of the number, is three less than two-thirds of the same number. So three less, that means I'm going to subtract three from something, so it's equal to two-thirds of the number minus three. How about that? Two-thirds of the unknown number and then I have to subtract three from that. So now, if you Bear with me, it probably makes sense. So it says one half of the number, one half of the number is three less, three less than two thirds of the number, two thirds of the unknown number. There you go, there's the equation that we need. Now we can simply substitute what the unknown number is. It's x, so we have one half x equals two thirds x minus three. This is where you have to be a little bit careful. Whenever they say, is three less than something else, how do you put that into your equation? And so you have to be very careful. So if you read it careful this way, one half of the number is three less than two thirds of the number. Okay, now we have an, uh, an equation which, which we can solve. Uh, we ended up with fractions. That means we want to multiply both sides of the equation by the lowest common denominator. We have two denominators. We have a two and a three. In this case, the lowest common denominator would be six, simply the multiplication of the two numbers. So we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by six, six being the lowest common denominator. So six times one half. One half times six is three, so we get three x is equal to two thirds times six. Well, three goes into six two times. And then 2 times 2 is 4. This gives me 4x. And 3 times 6 is minus 18 here. The next step is to move all the terms of the x to one side. Everything else stays on the other side. So we have 3x. When the 4x goes across the equal sign, okay, don't forget to change the sign. That becomes minus 4x equals minus 18. Now we can com combine like terms. 3x minus 4x is minus x equals minus 18 which means x equals 18. And if we go back up here, since x is the unknown number, the unknown number is 18. And just to make sure we did this problem correctly, let's figure out if it matches the constraints here. All right, what is one half of that number? So one half of the number, one half of 18 is equal to nine. And what is two thirds of the number? Okay, well, two thirds, times 18 is, uh, 18 divided by 3 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12, and sure enough, 9 is 3 less than 12, so looks like we found the right number.